Gemini. Season's greetings and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit and the Archangels into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading for Gemini from the 24th to the 6th of January. Uh, please don't forget to watch your moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. And if you would like a personal reading, I put my email and my website details in the description box, so please send me an email. I've also put the decks that I'm using in the description box and I put in links to Amazon and eBay, so click on these links uh, to buy the decks. And please don't forget to watch your 2019 spreads for uh, work, relationships, and general readings. I will link that at the end of the video. And uh, thank you for watching. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. So I'm starting off with a general energy read here, and then I will do the general tarot read after that. So the first card is the cobweb, which it says protected from negative forces beyond your control. So you are being guided and protected in everything you do. The archway says new opportunities and possibilities and pathways opening up for you so soon. So you are being di divinely guided uh, along these pathways. Then you have the ring, which says a marriage will take place, either romantic or business. So there's some kind of partnership coming in where there's some kind of legal documents that need to be signed. In the past, you've had the flowers, so you have been, uh, you know, pretty happy. Um, and there might have been uh, that you've been dealing with somebody who is a shark. Uh, so that uh, is always a worrying thing. They might have caused some kind of loss for you as well, some financial loss or loss of possessions. So you've been dealing with a, a really nasty person over there. Now, going into the future, you've got karma. You will reap what you have sown. So, you know, if you've been having a pretty bad time or been doing, you know, things have not been going fine, it looks like, you know, uh, fate will come in and step in and sort people out. And then you've got the target which says goal orientated person. So you need to to uh, find yourself your goal and you need to aim for that. And this is how you are going to sort through problems and get ahead in life. So make uh, some plans, get a goal. You know, this is a good time. It's the new year coming in. So it's a good time to review things and make some plans for the future. So I'm going to shuffle this deck. I have shuffled it before. Um, this is the Medieval Tarot. I have put in the links uh, to Amazon and eBay so you can buy the deck if you like. Okay. Okay, so you've got the Ace of Cups over here. So getting together maybe with family and friends and having a really good get-together coming up for you. So you can see all these people sitting at the table over there and enjoying breaking bread together. So it looks like there's some kind of family dinner, some kind of family get-together that's happening. Uh, getting together with people you love, really, with the Ace of Cups. And this is the, the right time for it. This is Christmas. Um, and, you know, this is the time of festivities. And this is generally the time that people get together. I haven't staged this card, I promise. So this is, looks like you're getting get together with family and friends for some dinner. And it's going to make you very happy, really. So what's happening with you? You've got the Chariot card over here crossed by the Death card. So you are moving away from any kind of negativity. A big change coming over here. Chariot cards are taking you away from uh, you know, uh, any old situation and putting you in a new situation. So you might be moving home uh, or starting something afresh, but there's always achievement with this card, but you need to take control. And the Death card says that the old situation is finished and done with, and now you are moving into a new cycle. So, you know, you are maybe physically moving away from the, an old situation and into a new situation, and achievement is coming your way. So what's happening in the past year, you've been dealing with a lot of different people from, you know, different parts of, you know, maybe very artistic people. You can see these people are singing and getting a lot of, uh, you know, enjoying their company, but meeting a lot of people and working with a lot of people. Maybe you've had a lot of celebrations or parties that you've been attending. So you can see there uh, in the last three months, very, very focused on work. Uh, you know, things have been a bit slow going with this Knight of Pentacles, but you are work earning the money and you are doing a lot of maybe doing a lot of traveling. Uh, and, uh, you know, you're getting there. Uh, so you are achieving. Even though it might seem slow, you are getting there. So you've been focused a lot on work recently. And multitasking quite a bit with this is, this is a magician card. Work is still playing a lot of... Um, 
no, this is the temperance card, sorry. Uh, so you are bringing together a lot of um, information from, or maybe all these different people that you've met, blending it together and coming up with your own ideas about things. Uh, you know, taking a lot of advice, you know, trying to keep things balanced, um, you know, but also focused a lot on work. So a lot of things have been revealed to you, are focused on work, but you are blending all these, this new information together and you are now, uh, you know, evolving and getting better at what you're doing. So going into the future, you've got the uh, Queen of Rods over here. Uh, so, you know, you're making plans, you're in charge, you're taking control. A lot of people, you know, admire you. You could also well be dealing with a, uh, a fire sign person. So maybe this is a person that's very important to you, that's giving you advice. It could be an Aries, uh, Leo or Sagittarius person because this is the energy of the fire signs. But you might be coming across as a fire sign person. So you might be attracting a lot of people and being very proactive and taking control. And this is what people see. <coughs> So what's happening with you? Uh, you yourself are feeling a bit low right now. Uh, maybe you've started a new project. You could be caring. You might have a new baby as well, uh, you know, that you're looking after. And, you know, feeling a bit isolated, feeling a bit lonely, uh, feeling a bit uh, tearful with this Queen of um, Cups over here. So you need to get out of that energy. If you're feeling lonely, isolated, uh, you know, feeling as though, you know, um, you can't get get things done and your cup is empty it's time for you to like move away from this uh, this energy the queen of cups uh, you know you need to get control over your emotions so you do need to practice this um this temperance this balance in order for you to get over it, you know feeling down if you are so what's going on around you, uh, you know, you are, uh, there's a lot of work focus. You might be traveling as well. This might be international traveling that you might be doing. Um, you know, you might be ending an old job cycle, moving on and going around and seeing the world. Maybe you've decided to, to do some traveling and meet a whole bunch of different people. Um, so you're waiting for some kind of news to come in over here, uh, some kind of facts to be revealed so that you can make plans for the future. This man's got a compass and he's waiting for this news to come in so that he can make a, uh, a decision of where he wants to go next. So with this work card, maybe you've decided that you want to do some international travel and you want to go out there. Maybe you want to new start a new job, but you are definitely waiting for some information that will guide you into what to do next. So going into the future, you've got the Nine of Pentacles over here, the Six of Cups, and the Tower card. So the Nine of Pentacles working really, really hard to get your money and your independence as well. You might be getting some kind of instruction from somebody higher than you. They might be giving you advice and telling you how to do things. Um, you know, uh, you might be even studying as well with the Nine of Pentacles on the job, learning on the job. Uh, but the Nine of Pentacles also talks about financial independence. So that's what you're working towards. But you're working very, very hard as well. You've got the Six of Cups over here. Now this is reviewing the past and reviewing past relationships and thinking about what's happened in the past. So my, they might have been a relationship that you're thinking about maybe that's depressing you a little bit you're daydreaming a little bit of, about it and uh, maybe it was a very very profound relationship that you had and you're still thinking about it um you might even be bumping into somebody that you know in all these parties that you go to right now maybe bumping into somebody from the past and maybe you have a, you know you end up having a little bit of a relationship with that person so you could be meeting somebody from the past and you know getting together with them uh, there's the tower card coming in for you. So something that's big, some revelation comes in with you. Maybe after meeting this person from the past, they bring in some information that brings a lot of clarity, a lot of change. Maybe you start seeing things from a different point of view. But it's definitely a revelation that comes in that changes the way you do things or the way you think about things. Maybe, you know, it, it gets rid of all kind of illusion that you may have had in the past. So some big information coming to you soon. And it's about maybe brought in from some uh, by somebody from your past uh, that's going to bring a big change in your life. So you are planning on doing some kind of travel, it seems. Uh, you're taking control of the situation and you want to move. Uh, you've got that chariot card over here. So it is talking about movement and change and ending old cycles. So, you know, it looks like you want to make a clean break from things and move away and, um, you know, maybe travel the world, maybe start a new job where you meet a lot of different people, uh, you know, from different countries, uh, foreign people that you've never, would have never met before. But, um, you know, if you didn't take make this break, you wouldn't have met them. So, uh, you know, they're bringing a lot of change into your life. So you've got the unity card in the, this is the animal tarot, and this is for advice. 
Embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. You might feel called on to act as a mentor, find a new teacher, or spend some time with others who are also on the same sacred path. So this is the Hierophant card, really, in the general tarot deck. So you, you know, there's a lot of information that you're learning. You're reviewing your traditions as well. And maybe you're acting as a teacher or even meeting somebody who will teach you a lot of new things. You've got the High Priestess over here. It is a time to pause and reflect, not to take Take action. Trust in your spiritual gifts as nothing is hidden from your divine intuition. So some important information is coming to you now that's going to bring big transformation. And like I said, with this tower card, important information is going to come and change things around and start you on a new cycle. You can see the new cycle of the moon over here and the butterflies about transformation. The owl always brings you very, very important information. So be aware of that. Then you've got the Ten of Autumn, which is the Ten of Pentacles. So ending an old work cycle and maybe moving on to something new. So it looks like you're ending this old situation and you're going to be moving on. And contentment comes from knowing that your finances are secure and your family's material needs are met and taken care of. Um, it is important to honor traditions and have pride in heritage and accomplishments of your ancestors. So it looks like there are family gatherings that you will be going and attending to as well with this 10 of autumn, uh, meeting, you know, getting together with the family, and but also maybe ending an old work cycle and moving on to something brand new. So there's big changes coming in for you now, big energy shifts over here happening, and you are taking control, and it looks like you're ending an old situation and moving on to something better and brighter for you, and where you have more international communication rather than being confined because it looks like the cards are opening up the road is opening up for you to meet the rest of the world and learn new things so i hope this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share and subscribe and don't forget to watch your 2019 reads i'll link that at the end of the video thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye